Let's take a look at the inside of an ear. Roll the computer graphics. If someone says, Hello? Hello? That sound enters my head through the ear canal and hits the eardrum, which vibrates when the sound waves hit it. Behind the drum, in the middle ear cavity, are three tiny bones, the stirrup, the anvil, and the hammer. They vibrate too and actually amplify the sound. They send the amplified sound vibrations to the cochlea, which looks sort of like a snail. The sound waves travel around and around inside the cochlea and bend over tiny nerve endings called hair cells, much like wind pushes around a field of grain. These hair cells are the ends of nerve cells, and the movement of the hair cells sends electrical signals to the brain. The brain decodes those signals, and I hear... Hello, it's your mother. So that's how our hearing works. But what happens when an ear is subjected to hazardous noise? Let's go back to those hair cells. If those hair cells get bent over to the point they can't spring back, that's when hearing loss occurs. It's like these blades of grass. Imagine they're the hair cells in your ears. Now, here comes a moderately loud sound wave. Not bad, the grass bounces back. But when the sound is extremely loud, the hair cells don't spring back. Extremely loud sounds can cause permanent damage, but so can moderately loud sounds if they continue over an extended period of time. See? Long exposures to moderately loud sounds can do just as much harm as one really loud sound. Both situations are hazardous. Fortunately, for the lawn, grass will grow back or it can be replaced. Not so for your ears. The hair cells never grow back, ever, and they can't be replaced. Kind of a drag. <laughs>